Okay. When you look up a ball in the Google or in the dictionary, some um, interpretations you'll get something along the lines of it's a demon. On other interpretations, you'll get that it is actually God. It is the creator God. Quite ironic. Well, this is because the Jews in the Old Testament used to worship, I mean, used to sacrifice their children to Baal. Now, what you have here is the Jews you have today are the Jews who converted, okay? In 1100 AD, around then, a Russian king, or Khazarian king, converted to Judaism to the amazement of his people, and his people converted as well. Now, of course, I wasn't there, but this is how history records it. So history is obviously telling us, hey, these, these white guys who Hitler transferred to Israel after World War II, I mean, not Hitler, but to England gave Israel to, are not the real Jews. They are just convert Jews who became homeless during World War II. Now, um, let's get more into Adam Weishaupt who founded the Illuminati in 1776 on May 1st. This is why when planes go down, they say May Day, May Day, referring to May 1st, the day the Illuminati got together trying to conspire about how to bring down governments using sex and money, and bribery, and threats, and sometimes killing people. You know, they, they look at, they do it like the mafia. In fact, the mafia learned to do it from them. In fact, the mafia is a branch of them that is lower than them. Okay? Mafia is a, another secret society that exists in the greater groupings of secret societies that falls under the power of the Illuminati. So, Weishaupt on behalf of the Rothschild family. Rothschild means red shield. Okay? This is, refers to their family crest. Also on the family crest, I have heard is written that it has the six-point star of Israel. And also the Rothschilds are Jewish bankers who have a controlling share of the Bank of England, if I'm not mistaken. Now, what you have here is a bunch of um, white people who have thought about how they could divide and conquer in very great detail. And they are the ones who basically had the American Revolution happen because it's no coincidence that 1776 was the date that this group was formed. It's no coincidence that there's a revolution in progress, okay? This ties into the Jacobins in France, etc. There's extensive secret society connections to all of these people, all these groups. So you see how we, time, over time we're coming to an age where guns are being developed. The white man is taking gunpowder from the from Asia, from the you know from the Asians, and he's taking the idea to use to make guns, how to make them efficiently from the secret societies, from the ancient mystery schools, from the blacks, and he's combined them with his greed and hate and made a gun, and now he's going around the world colonizing the places taking them over. Now, of course all other empires had wars and took them over, but it was the extreme delicacy taken to that is so offensive by this white man. He's so carefully taken care in how evil he's going to be so he can be the absolute most wicked white devil he can be. And that is why it is so offensive to me personally. And that's why I chose to take so much time researching the white man and why exactly he's doing this. Now, it's not all white people are evil. It is these people tied into the secret societies who have stolen the mystery schools and have corrupted them and taken them into a dark way. It's kind of ironic to me that the, the dark colored people were the people of the light who are using knowledge for good and to help their fellow man and to build a great glorious nation. But the people who were white skinned were actually using the knowledge to do dark things, evil things. It was ir irony. But anyway, it's not that much irony when you consider that the sun makes you dark. And when you're of the light, that's what's going to happen. 
and these people who kind of hide in caves and plot in the Caucasus Mountains in Asia are no good. That's why they're called the Caucasians. Now, of course, not all white people are bad because all people are born equal in the eyes of God it, as far as spiritually. It is the deeds that makes them wicked. It's written in the Bible that anyone who sins is a devil. But I won't go into that on this video. I'm going to strictly speak upon the era of Weishaupt. Okay, now, during these Revolutionary War in America, you have known Masons like Benjamin Franklin. I mean, this guy, the Masons brag about how much he's a Mason. You got guys like that. Almost all the signers of the Declaration of Independence admit they're Masons. Now, this is a big deal, obviously, because this is a secret society that has started a nation and has continued um, kind of a, a ritual of placing its members in high places in the government. Now, this is not a harmless ritual. This is something that has allowed them to take control of not only the money of the people, but the minds and the hearts of them as well, and how they control the media even since then. They controlled the media using newspapers and propaganda was one of the means Weishaupt wanted to use to get to take over the world. Okay, of course he went after the Vatican in great detail. He went after them and took great care in infiltrating them up from the bottom all the way to the top. That's how they done every organization, and they control all the major organizations. And the members who you would think were righteous people. They are doing wicked things with them, and they are being blackmailed. Maybe they have dirt on them sexually. Maybe they have, maybe they're paying them off. Maybe they owe them money. There's different means they use to control a man. It's like the saying goes, everyone has a price. Well, obviously I'm not making these videos because I'm a man who can be bought. I don't have a price. I only serve the Lord, and I only tell the truth. When I see my European brothers misbehaving, I call them out on it. And I would hope that they would remove the log out of their own eye before removing the twig out of the black community. Now, what you have here is many wars that took place since then. Notice how the English used the Hessian troops to fight the Americans and um, the French were kind of siding with America, supplying them arms on the low, whispering in their ear how to <laughs> how to fight effectively. And this is obviously because there's banking groups on both sides, there's people with global interests on both sides, on all sides who are controlling it from the outside. Overstand this, brother and sister. Overstand this. And he who has wisdom, let him see the truth let he or she rise to the occasion and do the right thing. Because the first step is when people like me introduce you to these ideas. The next step is you do the research. And you see what I'm talking about. And it's our collective work together that's going to expose this. Now, they used single shot weapons in those era, but they had the knowledge to use more weapons, better weapons. Notice how at all times the English will have better, the best weapons. They're not going to come out with weapons any better than they have to. But they have the knowledge to create even more powerful weapons than they have available. But they just use what they have to use. And they supply everyone else with what's weaker than them so they can control them that way. And they've done that all through history. And they did it in the Napoleon War. You see how Rothschild, he was the banker, he takes a bunch of money, and he holds off on it. And he says, I'm only going to give you this money if. Then he goes into England, announces that the French have won, so everyone starts selling all their stocks quickly for pennies on the dollar. He buys them up, literally for pennies on the dollar, buys them all up and becomes a huge rich banker, one of the richest families in the world today, if not the richest. Many people say it is the richest. So this guy basically played both sides of the war, the French war, the Napoleonic wars against England. And he used the Battle of Waterloo to maintain his huge fortune and then had Adam Weishaupt start the Illuminati for him in 1776.